Yaakov is running away from his brother Esav and he runs to Haran. But on the way, he decides to sleep the night. And that's where he sees the angels ascending and descending the ladder in his dreams. But before he goes to sleep, the Torah tells us that he takes Me'avnei HaMakom from the stones of the place and he places them around him as some sort of bed. But as he wakes up, the terminology changes. It says, and he takes the stone and he erects the stone as a monument for thanksgiving and gratitude to God. Now, the commentaries pick this up and they ask, what happened? Initially, he started with many stones and now he's left with one stone. Why the change in terminology? And they tell us the most beautiful story that the stones were fighting all night because they all wanted to be under the head of Yaakov Avinu of Jacob. And so God performed a miracle. He took the many stones and he formed it into one, placing them all under the head of Yaakov. This story is quite relevant to us too. We're all individuals. We all have our own journeys. We all worry about ourselves and our families. But the Torah is emphasizing that we're not just individuals. We are part of a community, part of a society. We are the one stone under the head of Yaakov Avinu. There are two types of people. Some people prefer being loners, being individuals, worrying about themselves and their own self-growth and not so keen to be part of a community of society. Others are focused on social activity. It's all about the community. It isn't about my own self or self-growth. But in fact, according to Jewish teachings, both are important. On the one hand, we are individual stones. We are individuals who need to grow ourselves as individuals in our skills, in our religiosity, in our self-growth. But together with that, there's something very powerful about being the one stone with the congregation, with the community, with society. Because together with others, we accomplish more than we can accomplish on our own. So this Shabbos, as we read the story about the stones forming into one, it's a story and a Shabbos of unity, of coming together, of being part of a community, of a congregation, and seeing how we accomplish and how we do so much together, more, more than, much more than, than we can accomplish on our own. Shabbat Shalom.